I'm the girl with the braids. Girl with the braids. Girl with the braids. Girl with the braids. We are on a countdown. Five days till wedding. I'm actually, I'm home alone right now. Nick is hunting again. Still hunting, it's hunting season. So he went with all the boys again today. <laughs> it is about 7.30 in the morning. Not feeling quite awake yet. I just wanna go back to bed. Cloudy outside. This is don't get out of bed cuddle weather. <laughs> Getting all ready with the usual steps. Yep. Mm -hmm. Isn't this really cute? This is the new Buff Bunny top. Little like crossover type thingy here. I don't know, it's super cute. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, let there be light. This is typical. Typical Jen. Trying to carry everything in one shot. That's what we fitness people do. Gonna get a quick booty workout in. Then I gotta come home and do clients. And then I gotta go back to town because I gotta pay a bunch of vendors for the venue and finalize some more details. <gasps> Two second guessing all my doubts like yo, hotel book of the room key. Going down four in the morning, all vibes. Telling me what I can be doing is all lies. One Watch your head, my jacket, another deal with a beat of Baby, it's so good to be Yeah, I go so hard Like it ain't no thing, turn the radio on so the girl can sing right butt burn uh, a lot of hip thrusts <laughs> a lot of boom 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 <laughs> home 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 let's see who's waiting for me So we just got this uh, rocking chair from Nick's parents. Said so they weren't using it, so they gave it to us. And I said, well, might as well for future babies. I haven't put it in the house yet because I gotta do some organization and some cleaning. I accomplished a few hours of coaching check-ins.
I'm, I'm, I'm starving right now. So I'm gonna show you the next meal I'm gonna be putting together. Now, for some of you, you're obviously, you're at work, you have a busy schedule, you're gone all day, you're gonna have to prep um, ahead of time, okay? I work from home majority of the time, so I'm able to like make meals when I'm here. But on the days when I am gone all day, I, I prep and plan for that. So I put meals together actually in containers and so I have them with me for when I leave and I'm gone all day. So this next meal is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. It's like a tuna salad with some little crisp breads. Super easy, super simple. And you're getting, you're getting your macros in, you're getting in your calories. All I'm using for this is I got tomatoes, cucumber, this wild planet tuna fish, and then these uh, Ravita original, like just rye crisp breads, and spinach, onion, cilantro and green onion, and avocado, garlic. Need some lime, and we're gonna do some Dijon mustard. Well, we gotta drain our tuna fish. Something that you can literally meal prep the night before and have to take with you. Um, so we're plopping this into a bowl. Take a fork and break it up. Get it into little crumbles. In one of these packets is 21 grams of protein, four grams of fat, it's got 40 grams of sodium. So it's just naturally occurring sodium that's already in the fish. Why you have to watch your sodium intake because if you're doing a lot of processed food items, most of the time the, the sodium is way too high in so many processed packaged foods. That's why we're getting an overabundance of sodium. So that's why if you stick with fresh raw food items, you're able to keep that, keep that sodium under control. But sodium become, it's starting to become a problem, especially for a lot of us because we end up getting too much sodium. We have a lot of water retention from sodium. Fluid builds up and it's just not good health-wise either to have, to have an excess amount of sodium. All right, so I'm gonna be chopping up my cucumber. And I've got little tomatoes. Take a green onion, pile of spinach. I like to cut into tiny little pieces. It mixes better. Onion, about a quarter. Should be good. garlic now you have the option you could do your Dijon mustard or you could do like coconut aminos this is obviously gonna be like a creamier base and this is gonna not be creamy but it's gonna give it kind of it just kind of goes well with fish you know so um, personally I like them both I use them both so you guys could do whatever you choose I think I'm gonna do the coconut minos today because I actually love it with the fish. Literally all you're gonna do is just season. It has a little bit of a sweeter taste to it too. Mm. Then I'm gonna get two of these rice crisps which are 13 grams of carbs each. So I'm gonna do that and I'm actually gonna take a quarter of my avocado and I'm gonna spread it on top of the rice crisps that way and then I have the salad. So those of you that are at home or have time to make something like this, you can obviously just prepare it quick like that. But those of you who aren't at home but want a meal like this, all you're gonna literally do is, is prep this the night before. You're gonna throw it into your fridge or container. You can even do your dressing separate or this separate or mix it in together. You could mix it in together when you're gonna eat it. I feel like when you mix the dressings and, or the, the mustard later, like when you're about to eat it, it kind of saves the freshness of the vegetables and the tomatoes, everything that you're putting in there. Same thing, you can pack these in a little baggie. You can pack a half an avocado, slice your avocado. You could throw it in a separate container or throw it on top of your, your veggies. 
or you can eat it in your salad, whatever you want to do. But literally, that's all you have to do in that meal is prep. The purpose of this lifestyle of eating like this is not to stress yourself out, not to overwhelm yourself. Stay within means, but still enjoy what you're eating. Oh, by the way, you guys, if you're wondering, I opted out of the lime juice um, instead of putting that on here. So that's why you didn't see me use the lime juice. <laughs> Another little tip is you could actually take your avocado and you can smash your avocado and make it into like a, a creamy base. Um, you could mix it with the lime juice or mix it by itself, like mash it up and then mix it into your salad so that becomes like a avocado dressing per se. It gives you that creaminess um, versus if you want to opt out of the mustard or you could do the two together. So many options, so many ways to be creative, just a matter of being creative. Keep in mind, you guys, the brands that I use for something like this, you're not limited to that. It's just ones that I chose. So anything along these lines, something that whatever you have available to you at your grocery store, wherever you're at, because sometimes at certain places in the US or even internationally, you don't have this brand, but you're going to have your own brand, but pretty much the same thing. So keep in mind, you, you don't have to limit yourself to the only the brands that you see I use. If, it's, if you find something, so if this is a rye crisp bread, if you find a rye crisp bread in your own brand in your location, that's fine. <laughs> go for it. You gotta run to town again. Come on. Let's go. Get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was quite the jump. I gotta help Mama Bear because she can't. No, hold on. She can't jump. Kayla, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh, they're so funny. Are you ready to go? Are you so excited? You guys get to go on a little road trip with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got golden hour going on. Huh, Kiki? Such good puppies. It's hanging by me. I know a lot of you guys ask if I sent doggies in to do training. Nope, I trained them. Trained by me. Good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> I mostly train them off the leash, so they they behave really well off the leash. On the leash, they're a little rambunctious, <laughs> but I'd rather them behave way better off a leash than than not behave off a leash. 